This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we've got a tank that I haven't run for a while, but in keeping with our American theme this week, we're going with none other than the damn Yankee, the T110E5. I don't run this tank very often, but it is a very, very capable heavy tank. And it's more mobile than most heavy tanks. It's right up there with probably the IS-7 as far as mobility goes. And it's got decent front armor. Like, this thing can take a beating. As we've all come to know and love. Now, the one dislike that I may or may not have for this is the gun. As with most American tanks, the gun can be very, very trolly. Um, the Patton's got a good gun now with the 105, but for the longest time you get that 90 mil. Uh, but this 120 mil, it's not a bad gun. But you've got to aim it, because it doesn't have the punching power to go straight through people's armor like uh, maybe the 122s and, and bigger guns like the 15 centimeters. And, you know, they just... It doesn't seem like there should be that big a difference between a 120 and a 122. But apparently there is, because I've used the IS-3 and stuff, and a lot of times you can shoot straight through parts of tanks um, that you know, don't have a problem whatsoever. But this this E or this E5 is a little bit different. You gotta really aim your shots. And you're gonna see me auto lock, or maybe not necessarily auto lock, but take a couple shots that I thought would pin, but didn't. Now I believe the average pin of the uh, 120 on the E5 is somewhere around 230 to 250, something like that. Um, so it's not the greatest, but it's not it's not terrible. And it should be able to pin most tanks. Um, as long as you're aiming your shots, taking your time. And you can see, I've pushed a long way, and I have yet to see a single tank. And at this point, I was like, oh, God, they're going to steamroll the right side. But, actually, there was a few of them. They just haven't been spotted yet. They're kind of hugging that channel in the middle. And as we roll up, just out of cover here, they're going to spot one right in the middle. Um... We look over, there's two heavy tanks right there, and we're about to be in a perfect spot to shoot them. Get ready, and got an IS-7 and a T-10. T-10's the easier target, shot out, 423 right through the side of his tank. We are in the best possible position. Now they spot me here, which isn't preferable, but we do get another shot into the back of the T-10, and we have what looks to be an E-75 here. Now this E-75 has just been absolutely manhandled, so we're getting ready to pop up. I'm going to take the chance, get shot in the process probably, and auto lock the guy, and it bounced. All right. That was the one one chance. And I almost get hit by that E4. Luckily, I got down and out of the way of that thing. Uh, nope, not going to get a chance. Already splashes me. Not preferable. I can't quite get this E75. I back off. I come up. E-75 had just fired, so it's easy shot right into this turret and bounced again. Okay, so right there, I'm like, okay, stop auto-locking. It's time to just make sure you're doing your job. Aim down sights. And now that I know Artie's looking, I want to break contact. And we have a Vickers 45B here. And we have a tortoise. Shot out on the tortoise, or the E-4 again. Sorry. E4, get, get some of that. The uh, Tortoise is the front one, so the E4 is the back one. But we have this Vickers over here, and i got to try to get a shot on him and push up. we got to be aggressive, got to get these guys. We've got the numbers we need to push. So I break contact, and I pull forward. Looks like Tortoise is going to come out. Nope, he's, he's going down into the trench, so I can't really shoot him. So now it's just me and these heavy tanks that are with us pushing up and we need to get a hold of this Vickers. Now, I'm at a pretty rough angle for this Vickers, and he gets a shot to pin at a stupid angle. And I'm not a, I'm not gonna lie, I get a little salty. And then I'm like, all right, it's time to pay him back. We're, we're safe from Artie, we're at the rock, we don't have to worry about the two uh, TDs. And we're just gonna try to nose around the corner and wait for our backup who's coming in behind him. He's engaging the backup, 
All right, time to go in. Put one in the side of them, 450, not bad. And then he goes down. There we go. Ready to fire. So, just playing with teammates. You see, you see where they're at. They're pushing in. I had his attention. I waited until somebody else took his attention, and then we roll in. You don't always have to get shot. Even in a heavy tank, you can, you know, wait for your teammates to come up and help. That doesn't mean they're always going to be there, but you know, if you've got them, might as well use them. Now this Conway is taking the lead, and we are almost identical speed over this terrain, so it's a little weird, but. He's going to go around the corner and hit somebody, and then I'm going to go around the corner and hit somebody. Uh, Tortoise. Come on. It looks like I'm going to make it first. Shot into the back of the Tortoise, 413. He comes up, hits him for 412. It destroyed one of our tanks. The Boff and Trogger puts him down. Not bad. So now we're, we're pulling it back. It's eight, eight kills to six. So we're, we're winning this match right now. T-54s here. And then you're going to see me do something that I'm going to regret in a little bit. T-54s here, and then I'm going to see a Waffentrager Alfie 100. I'm going to put a round into the Waffentrager Alfie 100. Right there, 403, not bad. And then I'm going to switch to my HE for that higher damage. I'm going to try to aim right at the turret of the thing and do more damage per shot. And then, of course, as I pull up, the T-54 comes back. I shoot. We hit him. Only get 120 out of it. And then the other guy is right there. I should have saved that shot. Luckily, we bounce it, and then I waste the shell because they finished him right as I reloaded. So now there goes all my high explosive rounds. Remember that. Just, you'll see what I mean in a moment. But remember that they I just wasted my uh, high explosive rounds right there. So right here, we get a back shot right on this Waffentrager. He's going to fling around. He, he knows he's got a couple rounds he can send my direction. I put one more in him. I back off. Just not wanting to give him any. I'm just poking the top up. He shoots at me, misses, shoots at me, bounces. I put another one in, hurt his gun. And I'm going to reload. Looks like he's uh, giving me the no, please don't. And I give him the nod that I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Just a little little theatrics. He he run out of ammo on his last shot. He uh, bounced. And then he just looked at me and gave me the, oh, no, please don't. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, it, it's coming. <laughs> uh, I've never had a chance to do that ever in World of Tanks in the four almost four years that I've been doing this. Never been able to catch somebody with the oh please don't and then me give them the nod yes and then shoot them. It never happens to me. I've seen other people do it but it's never happened to me and I gotta say it was a pretty fun little uh, experience. Artie's here he's waiting for me but I'm not gonna give him the time of day. Take him down no problem. We've got one round of armor piercing left and 25 rounds of heat. So uh, there are three tanks left. Our team has reset the cap, so we're headed back. Can we make it in time? Now we're winning, four to three, and we have a T-92 who could be in perfect position to uh, get shots on these guys. He's still alive. He's Now it's three versus three, and I'm trying to get there, trying to get there, and our heavy tank that's up here should have been absolutely careful. They've reset the cap. It's three minutes and something. Just fall back. I'm on my way. I've already told you I'm on my way. All you gotta do is wait. Unfortunately, he kills the E75, and that leaves me and the T92 versus three tanks, which is a Conqueror, who's a one-shot kill, a light tank, who's a one-shot kill, maybe two if he gets lucky, and the E3 who is probably about a three-shot kill. And they're in our base. Now, I'm rolling up from the left. They know my last known position was on the left, and I had to cut straight back because they're trying to cap the base. So, right off the bat, I'm like, okay, well, they've got two people on the cap. That's most likely the tank destroyer, the E3, because, you know, E3, big, fat, slow-moving tank, get to the base. Um... 
and then most likely they found us. the heavy tank but it's actually not it's actually the light tank the heavy tank is right over here by me and you can see I'm spotted there he is now if I had to ha if I happen to be carrying my HE and of course he pins me perfect if I had my HE this guy would have been dead when he was just barely giving me the top of his turret there just a slight little bit because he doesn't have any health left and an HE round probably would have killed him light tank moves up on me and as you can see I was pinging the guy now the T92 should have been aimed in by now he knows where the guy's at he knows he's got a good shot on him and is he gonna get a shot on him wait for it overshoots by a mile whether he shot at that conqueror or not I don't know I'm assuming he did I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt but he overshoots by a mile and a half completely screwing me out of this and the conqueror is not gonna push up on me smart move you got an e3 let the e3 push push up e3 is probably a three shot kill for me and he's got all the armor in the world conqueror is coming out I'm like all right conqueror you're gonna get little froggy i'll put a hurt, hurt on you but nope e3 comes up over the hill i push forward and he puts a round straight through my turret not preferable at all and the e and the t92 what's he doing let's see what this t Oh, he's moving around he's doing absolutely nothing he turns back towards last known pulls the trigger and does absolutely nothing of course not because he wasn't paying attention he wasn't looking where he needed to look so that when he reloaded he had a decent shot on a part of uh, one of those tanks you know he had two tanks in a very short area they could have easily have splash hit somebody with that eight, that 240 millimeter howitzer but it wasn't meant to be but that ain't why I'm salty about this guy okay after watching the video I realized he did take a shot at the Conqueror uh, instead of leaving me hanging and then he didn't have you know he wouldn't he was not reloaded in time to shoot the E3 so that is what it is but this is something that I despise as an arty player. As anybody, but definitely as an arty player. Don't do this. This is the stupidest thing you can ever do. And you've just killed yourself for no reason. He did it on purpose. You saw his, his thought process there. And he literally drove around, went straight to the bridge, and dove off to kill himself. 4,500 damage, 1,100 blocked, 1,000 assisted, don't be that guy. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.